Rampage is directed by Brad Payton and stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Joe Manganiello, Naomi Harris, Malin Ackerman, and Jay Glacey. And it is also written by Ryan Engel. And it is based off the video game of the same title. Now, the story follows The Rock's character and his silverback gorilla friend. They are like best friends in this movie, named George. Now, George encounters this gas that falls from space, and so does a wolf encounter the gas and a crocodile, which causes them to grow really big, and we're given some exposition as to why this happens in the beginning of the movie. It's called gene cutting or something like that, and it is supposed to make them these hybrid animals that can run really fast and heal really quickly and that's why if you've seen the trailers you see these animals have different mutated powers. Rampage in many ways calls back to the old black and white monster movies that basically didn't have a story and it was pretty much just about a giant monster destroying a city and how can the people stop it. And that's pretty much the premise of Rampage. That's really why they're trying to get you into theaters to see this movie is to have this big CGI extravaganza and watch the monsters destroy a lot of stuff. And there really isn't too much of a plot, except there is in some ways. We'll talk about that here in just a little bit. But first I wanna talk about the production value of this movie. So I was really impressed with the CGI in this movie to begin with. I really had trouble telling what was real and what wasn't real. Now towards the second act of the movie, you can definitely tell there is a drop in quality with the CGI because they're saving their budget for the massive battle at the end. And yes, the third act of the movie has some really great looking CGI. Sometimes it's like, well, that, that's clearly not, obviously it's not real, but it's just fairly noticeable. But otherwise the CGI is fairly well done. And that's pretty much the biggest thing going for production wise. Now, as for the story, like I said, there really isn't a plot to this movie except watch things destroy each other. But when they do decide to introduce a story, that's when the movie really trips up because the first act is interesting. It starts in a way that I really wasn't expecting. And we're introduced to a number of characters that don't matter later on. And once they introduce the villains of this movie, which are, I guess, technically the catalyst for all of this, they are a brother and sister played by Jake Lacey and Malin Ackerman, and they have this company called Inner Gene. And they are absolutely terrible in this movie. I was really surprised how hokey and cheesy they were. I don't know if the director and the writer told them to do this, but this is like 80s, 90s cheese villains bad, and I was really shocked by just how corny they were. And honestly, their acting was pretty bad as well. Uh, I, I really don't understand why they chose to go this route because it was fairly good, and then it just gets bad. And that's where the story really takes a dive because there is a ton of exposition. They spoon feed everything to you. Everything has to be explained, even why the giant creatures are going to Chicago and the reason is really stupid. So the story is fairly mediocre. I know nobody's really going or expecting a story out of this movie, but they could have made it a lot better by just not purposely being stupid about it, if that makes sense. Now, let's talk about the cast. I already said Malin Ackerman and Jake Lacey were pretty bad in this movie. How is The Rock? Normally, he's really fun and charismatic. Honestly, I felt like he was mostly phoning it in for this role. He was fine. Um, Naomi Harris did not do well in this movie. I don't even understand why she was really here. I guess The Rock needed a sidekick. She was fairly pointless. She just had some cringe-worthy dialogue. There is some fairly comedic lines, which I did enjoy. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, yes, that is my name, son. How are you doing today? Jeffrey Dean Morgan is probably the most charismatic character in the whole movie. At first, I didn't like it because I'm like, oh, you're just channeling Negan from The Walking Dead and you think you're all that. But then I realized, no, nah, he's actually having fun here. And that's why I came to this movie, to have fun. 
So he actually seemed like he was having fun. The Rock seemed like he was phoning it in. This movie tries to make emotional connections that don't pay off whatsoever. There's no emotions connected with it. Uh, I should also mention the second act of this movie is a pretty, pretty nice slog to get through. I just want to see the monsters destroy stuff. I don't care about all these silly little things of getting from point A to point B. Just get us there. Don't give us this stupid story that you're just gonna have to spoon feed to us so i was fairly annoyed with the second act of this movie so overall rampage was not as much fun as i was really expecting it to be you still can have fun but just be warned they're gonna set you up with some really stupid story plot lines and some pretty mundane acting so i was fairly disappointed with that Overall, I am giving Rampage 6 stars out of 10. This movie is fairly mediocre and it comes with a pretty mild recommend. So thank you so much for watching my review of Rampage. Give it a thumbs up and make sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to share it with your friends. We love movies and we love sharing it with our friends as well. You're 21st century kids. You know what to do. Make sure to stay tuned because we've got a lot of great content coming your way. Reviewing Jurassic Park 3 this week and that review will be out next week so make sure to look for that very soon and we'll catch you next time.